Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. Pakistan averaged one militant attack every 14 hours last year. 976 people died. China seeks nuclear fusion leap through new R&D company. China's military stresses war on graft as defense purge widens. Morning bid Europe New Year, old plot. China's office market indulges tenants amid soaring vacancies, looming supply glut. Pakistan averaged one militant attack every 14 hours last year. 976 people died. South China Morning Post. Pakistan experienced a significant increase in militant attacks in 2023, with a 70% rise compared to the previous year. The attacks resulted in 976 deaths and 1,354 injuries, making it the deadliest year in over half a decade. The majority of the attacks were claimed by the Pakistani Taliban, who are believed to operate from Afghanistan. The surge in violence is seen as a reaction to Chinese investment in the country, particularly in the province of Balochistan. The attacks are expected to continue to increase as Pakistan heads into elections next month. China seeks nuclear fusion leap through new R&D company. Bloomberg. China has launched a new national company and a coalition of industrial giants to advance research in nuclear fusion technology. The consortium, led by China National Nuclear Corporation, aims to target nuclear fusion development through high-temperature superconductors, large-capacity energy storage and tritium production. The group comprises 25 central government-owned enterprises and research institutes, including State Grid Corporation, China Three Gorges Corporation, and China Baowu Steel Group Corporation China is also preparing to form China Fusion Corporation as it competes with the US, UK, and Japan in the nascent technology. China's military stresses war on graft as defense purge widens. Bloomberg. China's military has reiterated its commitment to cracking down on corruption in 2024. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, daily mentioned corruption three times in its New Year's Day editorial, more than in any other year since President Xi Jinping began his anti-graft campaign in 2012. The PLA stated that it will continue its efforts to fight corruption and has already made progress in cleaning up key industries and fields. The statement comes as the defense sector has experienced a number of personnel changes and senior military figures have been ousted in recent weeks. Morning Bid Europe New Year, Old Plot. Yahoo! Bitcoin surged above $45,000 for the first time since April 2022, extending its strong run from last year, where it jumped more than 155%. The rise comes as global easing cycle expectations continue to be the dominant market driver. China's office market indulges tenants amid soaring vacancies, looming supply glut. South China Morning Post. China's office market will continue to favor tenants in 2024, with landlords expected to lower rents to stimulate demand, according to property analysts. Economic pressures, slow demand recovery and an influx of new office supplies will all contribute to the tenants' market. Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Guangzhou are expected to see a peak in office supply in the next two years, leading to a downward adjustment in rents. Rents for grade A offices in Beijing are expected to decline 6% in 2024, following an 8% drop in 2023. Last Taiwan polls show US-friendly DPP set for election victory. Bloomberg. Taiwan's ruling party is on track to win a third consecutive term in power, according to final election polls. The Democratic Progressive Party's vice president Lai ching tae leads the main opposition rival, Ho Yuih of the Kuomintang, by 3 to 11 percentage points. The polls suggest a victory for Lai would be a setback for Chinese President Xi Jinping's efforts to bring Taiwan closer to Beijing. A win for Lai would represent a rejection of more engagement with Beijing, which many of his supporters fear would lead Taiwan toward becoming part of China. Hong Kong's Jimmy Lai pleads not guilty in security trial. Bloomberg. Jimmy Lai, the former media mogul of Hong Kong, has pleaded not guilty to sedition and collusion charges as his trial resumed. Lai is accused of conspiring to collude with foreign forces against China and Hong Kong, under the national security law imposed by Beijing. He also faces a colonial-era sedition charge. Lai's trial is expected to last around 80 days and is being closely watched by Western governments. Any conviction risks further straining relations between China and the US and UK, where politicians have spoken out in Lai's defense. China stocks drag down Asia as New Year starts, markets wrap. Yahoo! Asian equities have been dragged down by Chinese shares as a result of weaker-than-expected factory data and a speech from President Xi Jinping that highlighted the headwinds facing the economy. Hong Kong's benchmark share gauge slid as much as 1.7%, while its peers in the mainland and Taiwan also dropped. Meanwhile, 
China's factory activity shrank in December to the lowest level in six months, data published on Sunday showed, while a private gauge of manufacturing released on Tuesday showed a slight gain. Forex dollar starts 2024 on firm footing, Bitcoin surpasses $45,000. Yahoo! The US dollar rose on the first trading day of 2024, as investors turned their attention to economic data that may provide clues on the Federal Reserve's next moves. The dollar index, which measures the US currency against six rivals, fell 2% in 2023, snapping two years of gains. The focus is now on a slew of economic data due this week, including data on job openings and non-farm payrolls. China calls on Taiwan's people to promote peaceful reunification. Japan Times. The head of China's Taiwan Affairs Office, Song Tao, has called on the people of Taiwan to promote the process of peaceful reunification with China. This comes ahead of Taiwan's presidential and parliamentary elections on January 13, President Xi Jinping had previously stated in his New Year's Eve address that China's reunification with Taiwan was inevitable. Song reiterated this sentiment, stating that the reunification of the two countries is inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Hex from the Six Degrees World, bringing you the latest news from around the globe. It seems like Pakistan had a rough year in 2023, with a significant increase in militant attacks, resulting in a high number of casualties. China is making strides in nuclear fusion technology with the launch of a new national company and a coalition of industrial giants. The Chinese military is cracking down on corruption as it continues to undergo personnel changes. Bitcoin is on the rise again, surpassing $45,000, while China's office market is favoring tenants with lower rents. Taiwan's ruling party is projected to win the upcoming election, which could be a setback for China's efforts to bring Taiwan closer to Beijing. Former Hong Kong media mogul Jimmy Lai pleads not guilty to sedition and collusion charges. Asian equities are dragged down by weaker-than-expected factory data and a speech from President Xi Jinping. The US dollar starts the year on a firm footing, and China calls on Taiwan's people to promote peaceful reunification. Now, let's dive into these stories. Pakistan's surge in militant attacks is believed to be a reaction to Chinese investment in the country, particularly in the province of Balochistan. It's interesting to see how economic developments can have such a significant impact on security situations. China's push for nuclear fusion technology is a clear sign of their ambition to lead in this field. It will be fascinating to see how they compete with the US, UK, and Japan in this nascent technology. The Chinese military's emphasis on fighting corruption is a positive step towards a more transparent and efficient defense sector. It's crucial for any institution, including the military, to maintain integrity and accountability. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin. It's like a roller coaster ride, isn't it? One moment it's down, and the next moment it's soaring to new heights. The global easing cycle expectations seem to be driving its current surge. As for China's office market, it's good news for tenants as landlords are expected to lower rents to stimulate demand. This is a reflection of economic pressures and an influx of new office supplies. Moving on to Taiwan, it looks like the ruling party is set for another term in power. This could be seen as a rejection of closer engagement with Beijing, as many of their supporters fear it would lead to Taiwan becoming part of China. Jimmy Lai's trial is closely watched by Western governments, as any conviction could strain relations between China and the US and UK. Lastly, the Asian equities market took a hit due to weaker-than-expected factory data and President Xi Jinping's speech highlighting the challenges faced by the Chinese economy. It's a reminder that even the most powerful economies have their ups and downs. The US dollar is off to a strong start in 2024, as investors await economic data to gain insights into the Federal Reserve's next moves. And China's call for peaceful reunification with Taiwan is a reminder of their long-standing stance on the issue. Well, that wraps up today's news. Now, it's time for you, my wonderful audience, to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you have any questions? Let's hear it. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com.
Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.